Joshua, I don't see how you're gonna fix that hair. Yeah, what the hell happened to it? What'd you do to it? Welcome to the Bear Panther Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara, and this is Cooking Made Simple. Oh yeah, that looks a whole lot better. <laughs> you guys, welcome to the mukbang. We haven't done one of these in a while, right, Josh? Yeah, it's been and a while. And Joshua's hair looked crazy just now, so I'm like, you need to go fix that. You look like when these dictators start going off the chain. So this is fajita panadas or fajita empanada. You're gonna see the video for this tomorrow because I have time to edit it right now. Josh was eating the same thing, but I fried like, um, we were kind of thinking. So it was an egg roll. Uh, so Mm -hmm. All I beg of you is not to double dip in my thing. Oh. That's sweet and sour. Oops. <laughs> oh. Mmm, that's so good. Officially. It's not double dipping. If you dip in on a one first. Technically. Eat it and then dip ya? It's not <laughs> Oh no, we're supposed to look for one that doesn't have cheese? In the um, oh, egg okay. roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I want the sweet and sour back in. No, it's only us. We're not sick, we hope. <laughs> oh. So I made chicken fajitas. And mm, just throw a tortilla to make this concoction. Mm hmm. Mm. So you combine the two things to make one good thing. Mm -hmm. Well, two good things to make one ultra good thing. Isn't that how recipes work? Pretty much, that's what cooking is. Mm -hmm. Did you find is one of the egg rolls that don't have cheese? Um, this might not have cheese. I know this. I only try one cheese. that didn't have cheese. Oh, there's only this. one. Uh huh. That looks like it. You sure? No cheese there. That looks like cheese in the middle. Let's see, you guys. Let's inspect. No, that's the um the peppers. Oh. The other peppers? Okay. okay. Good luck. It's one more like this, okay? So don't eat it. Fight it for me. I was just going to keep eating indiscriminately until it's all gone. <laughs> you better find me my other one. <laughs> mm. This is an odd mukbang. Does this look like cheese to you? <laughs> mm. That's it. I find my two pieces. Okay. okay. Have fun. Go to town. Go nuts up. That is paste picante sauce. They don't sponsor the show. But I have to tell you what it is, right? This is sweet and sour that I made one day, one time. And I hid it in the back of the fridge. Oh my god, that's why you still have it. I was like, how'd she make sweet and sour? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like it kind of like better in this form. In Paris? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, you might know it as empanada. We probably say it the Spanish way, no? Mm -hmm. I was um, thinking empanadas because that commercial where the guy, mm -hmm. his mom sent there at college, I think, and they're in the dorm, and the mom sent him like a plate of these. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to come home, eat that, drink my Coke, and I'm going to enjoy it. His friend ate it, and that's all I remember from the commercial, but I know, but in the rest of my mind, he got rid of the friend because that's what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> Now what I have here is a piece of apple pie because I did a live show the other day at Facebook where I made pie doughs and I made pies out of all the pie doughs. You made like what, three pies? So, yeah, so Joshua did that in the air fryer for me. Let me make sure you've seen it in the And kitchen. then brought it back to life. The air fryer is such a marvelous little invention. And I hate it so much, right? But we need I'll it. I'll come ask you, Joshua, can you do it? But I hate this sound. It gives me a headache. Mmm. At first I couldn't stand the sound, but now I don't mind it. And Wednesday is drinking. I was hoping you wouldn't hear that. <laughs> I was so hoping you wouldn't hear the dog drinking water. I know people are going to tell me what they like when they tell Priscipe, why don't you put the dog out the room when you're doing the book bomb? This is the whole house. The dog's still here in the living room, mm -hmm. in the dining room. No. Huh? I want to talk about my live event that I did at Facebook. Okay. But before I remember that, I want to talk about that because I want to talk about something else live first. Live event, live event, got it. I want to talk about that commercial from Geico. Geico has a lot of weird commercials, some of them funny. The one where the people move into the, the their beautiful dream house and the, the dream house have HOA, okay. Homeowners Association. Oh, God, those are awful. 
and the lady that leads the HOA is over there like destroying everything of theirs. It's like, this does not meet regulation, right? She cuts down the mailbox, the post for the mailbox. It's two inches above regulation. She tells them they have to trim the hedges. They have to this, they have to that. And they're still so calm about all of this because they have Geico. That's why they're so calm, right? So the black guy goes by with the baby in the stroller and he goes, I see you've met, I see you've met Cynthia. But the way how he says Cynthia, he didn't say like Cynthia. I see you met Cynthia. <laughs> so every time I'm walking around the house going, I see you met Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> have have homeowner, homeowners association ever been like a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're all mm -hmm. awful, right? Awful. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? Why? Why? You know, mm. We had it. It's a little piece of brownness from the um. We had a condo, and um, they were god awful. They would tell you that you can't put up Halloween Anything. decoration in the window. You can't leave nothing on the veranda upstairs. <clears throat> and the veranda was to the back of the condo where nobody else saw it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I could understand if it's on the front of the uh, patio, um, condo that people see from the street. And then you know when people go by and say they have blanket covered on with bikes with this, with that. Yeah, I could understand that. <clears throat> wanted to be maybe a little patio table and chairs. But it was in the back, and I remember ours was like surrounded by other um, buildings, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't just see from the street. It was surrounded by other people's condo where mm -hmm. their backs were with our backs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, they were awful. Oi. I heard stories of, um, this guy just moved in, you know, like, you gotta come sign all these papers, mm -hmm. where he basically signed everything <laughs> away to them. Mm -hmm. And, like, before he even started, this dude's, like, getting into his garage to check things out and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's, mm -hmm. like, that's how you get swung on. Um, you can't sell your property unless they approve it. That's they have property. to approve it. You can't sell us. So we're stuck there for five years. Let me show you something. To make the panades. How was that? I cut out, out of the big tortilla. But it was wasting too much tortilla. So that's why I quit. <clears throat> oh, I don't know what picture is going to be behind me too. I quit and I stopped making these panades one or empanadas one. And I started to make the, the egg roll. Yeah, it sucked. I hated the HOA. I hated the HOA so much. And when I left, they sued me. And I, I got, because I used to be on the board, I got wind that they were going to sue me. So I settled the case mm -hmm. for less than. So if I owed them like a thousand, I settled for like $300. And they still took me to court because they didn't realize I settled because the girl in the office didn't tell them that I settled. Mm -hmm. But I kept all my proof though. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have even had to settle because what they were suing me over, they didn't sue nobody else over. All that for that little condo that wasn't worth anything. Because when I moved from the condo, I stopped paying the dues. And the law of free pork was finalized, right? Yeah. So I owed them like two months worth of dues. They sued me. Hmm. And your girl went and bought a typewriter, answered her lawsuit, settled the case, and showed up to court. Mm -hmm. The judge was like, damn, people stupid. They don't see this case settled. Ooh, they were mad. Mm -hmm. If I were the judge, I'd be like, you don't have to pay anything because these people are stupid. I didn't even have to show up. I went to the door and they're like, you done, go. Mm. Joy bought some vegan cheese. This is mozzarella vegan cheese. I tasted a piece just now. I like the vegan cookies. I mean, I don't hate it right off the bat, but it tastes kind of chemically. Mm. I would, I would try again. It looks like a frayed rope. <laughs> See what it tastes like. <laughs> yeah, something right about that. <laughs> you, could, you can immediately tell something's off. Like it's trying to be mozzarella, but it's not quite there. I've done without cheese for so long that I don't know if I'm going to like venture into that. I'm gonna just keep doing it out cheese. I'm just gonna keep going with the normal cheese that fattens me up. And it hurts my stomach, man. Yeah, I know, like, for me, I'm fine. When I, I eat anything with milk, you know what happens? My upper stomach swells to nine months of pregnancy. Because mm. right now, on a regular basis, I have three months of pregnancy on my belly. <laughs> it swells to nine months, and it hurts, 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 it hurts till I can't breathe. 
I'm like, it feels like I overate. It puts a strain on my stomach. And then eventually, like five hours later, it just deflates. I don't go to the bathroom. Nothing happens. I don't know why, why it, maybe it moves into my intestines into another spot or something. Maybe. I shouldn't be talking about this stuff over food. I know, right? But <laughs> it doesn't weird me out. Mm -hmm. Things that weird me out are little things like, you know, fingernails being ripped off, that sort of thing. <laughs> feet. Feet weird me out. Mm. Let's go back to the Facebook thing. Oh, yeah. So finally, you guys know that I'm a content creator on Facebook too, right? My YouTubers. I started off on YouTube October 2011. In 2018, Facebook picked me up and brought me over to their platform and I had to make all new videos over there, yeah, yeah. So, I don't get paid well at Facebook. I always tell you guys that. Even though I have a lot of followers and you guys actually watch, Facebook has it rigged where you don't yeah. get paid well. Yep. You guys have to get past the first minute. If you don't, I don't get paid. Anyways. Thanks, Mark. Finally, they gave me fan subscription, which, in other words, is membership. You done? You reach your limit? Uh, we're almost done, so I'm buying time. Okay, okay. <laughs> Unless um, you have more hidden somewhere. Mm -mm. So, you're wanting me to do a live event. Mm. I sold tickets to the live event. Four diehard people came in. They bought tickets and came in. The rest of my people. Well, the rest of my their hearts didn't know. Mm. They're like, I didn't even know you were having this. It was glitchy as hell. We had to shut it down. I've never. And seen I went it. to a private Facebook group that I have yeah. for my members that I have a Patreon. Yeah. And we did it there. We did two hours I of live cooking. The 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 chat wouldn't work. Mm hmm Or we couldn't see what others were saying. Um. When we finally could, it was spinning on their end. Yeah. It was buffering. No? Mm -hmm. They could see what we said, but we can't see what they said, so what's the point? Well, they could hear us. Yeah, we could hear us. We were talking. Them. Oh, yeah, when we typed, they could see us too, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The whole point of a stream is to interact with people, you know? Let me get this out of the way so I don't miss you guys. If you aren't going to interact, might as well just tape it. Mm hmm. So. I don't think it's something I would ever do again. I never like to say never, but I'm just saying right now it's never. Okay, so the way guys. I'm just gonna keep doing my regular free lives and then people donate if they want to. Because mm -hmm. I do have diehard people that know what it takes to run the show and they always give. So thank you, thank you. And for that one evil person that keeps coming in saying derogatory things, I'm gonna give you enough rope to hang yourself. <clears throat> You know one of are. these days, I'm not going to call your name to give you what you want. One of these days, you just won't be able to find me. And you just go, what happened? Because I feel like you're a whole troll that's catfishing me. That's I feel like I'm being catfished. I'll show you her page later. That's a lot of work if you're if saying for something. Though. Well, they put a lot of information to make me say, okay, maybe it's not catfish, this person's real. But why do they hate me so much? I've never done anything to them. I don't know them. I've never interacted with them on my page. People are weird. Just a month ago, this person started to show up and say nasty things to me. Well, so, whoever did it on the picante. Hmm? Whoever did it on the sauce. It's good. Yeah. It, is it? Did it come back? It come back. Mm-hmm. If you guys are wondering, every once in a while we'll do air, um, air fryer experiments. We should do those on camera. Mm -hmm. Can the air fryer bring back fries? Can it bring back? And we'll just do that. Mm -hmm. um, but it brought back an apple pie. Because for me, Mm -hmm. I don't really like pies too much, but I don't mind an apple pie mm -hmm. as soon as it comes out. Mm -hmm. after, next day, done. Throw it away. Right it's when useless. it's burning your tongue. Yep, yep, yep. It has to be when it's burning your tongue. You can't give it time to cool down. You got to eat it. Seth was saying to put a scoop of ice cream on this, but I feel like for me, ah. ice cream and pie don't go. It does. I, I've seen it, and mm -hmm. people like it, but it doesn't work for me. I need like ice cream on a brownie and something. A nice hot brownie with some cold ice cream is great. Is that what they call a la mode? Because the ice cream is up there, or is a la mode the chocolate? Oh, it's the chocolate. Mm -hmm. People in the comments, tell us what that is. What is pie on a mode? Yeah. Does it mean that it pie, pie with, with ice cream? Pie with ice cream, okay. Why not just say pie with ice cream? Why do you gotta make it all fancy? Because as cooking is fancy, Joshua, it's an art. Mm -hmm. So the picture behind me might be from this Airbnb that we visited years ago when one of my viewers uh, sent an invitation for Jada to go meet Jerry Wanda. Jerry Wanda was a part of the Fuji's. I don't think that band still exists, right? I doubt it. And, um, the one with Lauren Hill? 
and he's the cousin of Wycliffe John. And so um, we went to meet him at Airbnb. The viewer sent money so I could make food, da da da. He advised Jada on her music career. He was a really, really nice guy to me. And they rented an Airbnb, so I, I might use a picture from the Airbnb behind me because of the fact that I found some, right, Josh? And so the, if I use the one that has the bad word, you might see a bad word right there. It's Miles Davis or somebody said a, a, a saying. And so you might see it there. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm cleaning. Your OCD is acting up, Joshua. Yes, yes it is. Okay. I'm a let's, dirty queen. Let's get into the book. What time? 15? Okay. Yep. Oh, by the way, I was following the teachings of another um, content creator at YouTube that said the videos need to be longer. And I try to make my cooking videos longer, but even I got bored. So I've switched them back to shorter videos. They're going to be between 10 and 12 minutes long. And then my mukbangs are going to be more like half hour, okay? So... For the one person at Facebook that complained, you, you didn't need to complain. Your girl was already on her diet. He told Joshua, that's like when you get, you see yourself getting fat, you finally build up the stamina to do a diet, you lost two pounds, then somebody come and go, are you getting fat? That's how that feels when she came. So your videos are too long. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, I was so, I, I really lost my mojo. I just did a live event at Facebook, a free live event, where I told my viewers that I lost all love of doing what I'm doing. And I just really, really, I didn't get depressed. I just got tired so this book I made a whole commercial you may have seen it already talking about my books right so because one of the commercials is because the book is on its way mm -hmm. and the other one is like when the book has, has, has already come then I'll play that commercial so that's why I'm dressed up mommy as would, of today they're not here mommy would say your zessel your zessel <laughs> okay so this is what you guys were buying from me years ago this do is my not first book. buy that and I told him that a wise person once told me, stop talking about things you want people to forget. And I want people to forget this book, so I stopped talking about it. But you guys are still buying this book from Amazon. You're buying this one. The perfect bound with a black and white picture. Why? Amazon does not allow you to sell spiral bound. Why? Unless the spiral bound is in a binder. Why? And even they have this, the place that I get my book from now, uh -huh. they have soft cover, hard cover, and spiral bound in a binder, right? Okay, okay. But I wouldn't just be able to sell it at Amazon still because they don't allow color photo inserts. It's black and white or color, and I can't afford pure color. The, the place that I get my book, they just started to do pure color, yeah. full color, and I don't know that I can afford it. I'll look into it, but I don't know that I can afford it and then sell it back to y'all, right? Do not buy a damn book, please. <laughs> Don't let me have to come at you again. I already warned everybody at my Facebook. If you buy these books, I will block you from my page. Point blank period. Because you're taking money from my pocket. The man, the thief from me. The man is stealing. Alright? So, this is the book you want to buy. Alright? Give me a moment. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to pause because somebody had to go down the hallway to leave out the door and it was going to be too distracting. Alright, so this is the book you're going to buy. You can only get it from me. I talked with somebody on the phone the other day and I told the person, you can only get this book from me, you can't get it no place else. The person was still like, I'm going to buy a book from Amazon. I'm like, what? What did I just say? I will block you from my page. Yep. If you take money out of my mouth like that man, I will block you from my page. This book. $20 plus $5 shipping if you live in America. This book's one book. One book. If it's more than one book, if you buy two books, the shipping is now $8, not $5. Okay? Because I got to pay more because it's heavier. Yeah. Then if you're buying three books, the shipping goes to flat rate at $12. And no matter how much book you buy, $12 because we're going to put it all in the priority box. Okay? <clears throat> the flat rate priority box. You, you know we're trying to save the money for you guys too. If you live in, not in America, if you live overseas, abroad somewhere that's not America, mm -hmm. You gotta give me your address in my email, bearpantryshow at gmail.com, so I could go to the post office. I'm gonna waste a trip to go down there to go, how much does it cost to send to Trinidad? How much does it cost to send to Essex? You know, tell me, <clears throat> because I can't eat that, that shipping. To ship to Belize is like $16. I can't eat that. Good. You know, so it's like, you know, I broke. Shipping always gets you, man. Thank you to the people who pre ordered. Joshua, you know, I'm gonna grab a muffin or something. I feel lost here by myself. I have to heat up a muffin. <laughs> Anyway, that's the book you always want to buy. Yes, buy that book. That's how you can patronize the show. If you're not a sower, you know what a sower is? You know what a sower is? A uh, person who plants the seed. You sow the seeds into the ground, right? right? Awesome. And that goes for like real seeds with real fruit trees and vegetable trees and so on. 
<clears throat> but it also goes for when you give to somebody. So if you're not a sower and you don't like giving, that means you don't like receiving. So I'm not even asking you to sow. I'm asking you to buy. Buy the book. <clears throat> and the only way you could buy it is by looking in the links below. It's going to say tip jar donation because that's what it's always been. But that's how I collect income in um, here from the books. Do they have to put their name and that it's for the book <clears throat> and their address? Don't put it on my page though. No, no, no. no, put no. It, when, you, when you send the pamphlet, yeah, right? Yeah. Put it when, when you're going to buy the book and you put your $25. You got to put your address, your shipping address. So if you're using Cash App, there's a spot for you to put it in there. Venmo has it too. Zelle has it. If you know miss it. any of that, yeah. If, then go to my email, bearpantryshow at gmail.com. Very easy. It's down below. And go ahead and put your address in and say, I want a book. I want two books. Um, Some people like gave me $35. I'm like, I don't know what they want. This is a donation. And they go, one for the, the book, 25 and the 10 is for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Um, before they pay, you should um, you should talk to them first, right? Because what if they're like not in America, right? So you can quote them at a proper price? Only the ones that are not in America need to talk to me. Okay. Got it. The rest just pay. I have your name written in a little book. The minute the book comes, I'm going to autograph all of those. I used to autograph all my books no matter what, but now I'm only going to autograph the ones that pre-ordered because they took a chance on me. And only three they of those pre-orders will get a special Josh signature. <laughs> okay. You're going to draw something? Yeah, we'll get a little doodle. Hmm. Josh was an artiste. Mm. <laughs> you know, somebody told me that you should put your stuff on TikTok. Jayla was telling me about that, and I get the gist of it because I've seen videos like that on YouTube where it's, they speed it. It's Cindy that told me. Yeah. Uh, you should put it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen that. Yeah, maybe. You guys want some? You didn't do a, um, a thumbnail. <laughs> we always mess up on the thumbnail. The food's gone. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what do we do? We could never screenshot it because we always do. When I'm smiling pretty, you are done. like. Just do it. Do it. I don't care how bad I look. Put it out there. We need a, we need a thumbnail. <laughs> I, I really couldn't care less how I look. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I, I don't get embarrassed anymore. Pick up your book. I didn't buy a whole lot because I couldn't afford to buy the amount I wanted to buy. So limited supply. You gotta move. And we're not pretending like those marketers that tell you it's limited. No, it really is. When we tell you it's limited, it's really limited. By the time I send out these pre-orders, almost half the books are gone. I was about to say, and a huge chunk of it's already gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I really appreciate oh my god, I can't believe this thing bring up this thing. You know when it first came out it wasn't as crunchy as it, as it sat here it got crunchier. Oh good thing I stopped at that time and then mm -hmm. go all the way down. You did five minutes at four hundred? Like it's probably like two minutes left, I think, so three minutes. Three minutes at four hundred for the apple pie to reheat. Yep. I was going to throw the rest of this away. Point blank period. That's what you do with apple pie. after the first day, it's mm -hmm. done. You can't put it in a microwave, it's just gonna be goop. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get a goop of That and peach cobbler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We should try eating a peach cobbler. We gotta do an air fryer series where we just can it bring it back from the dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we can't do the apple pie episode because we already spoiled it. <laughs> Not a lot of people watch my videos all the way through to this long, 24 oh, minutes. That's true. Mm -hmm. You guys get the secret they preview. It. They miss it. Okay. If you've made it to this far, it's going to be less than 24 minutes because remember we paused, but we didn't pause the camera. We paused for a good three minutes. So if you made it to 20 minutes into the video, right? When I edit it, it's probably this spot is going to come up at 20 minutes. Hello. Say in the comments below, say what? Give me a phrase for them to say. Uh, it's got to be something inconspicuous because then anyone can just be like, oh, they're saying that. I better say it too. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Geico for the Geico commercial? I shouldn't give them no props. No. What else? Give them nothing. Uh, what, 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 do you, what do you what do you get if you do this? Um how about a shout out. No, no, no. How about this? Mm -hmm. Shout out to mm -hmm. but um first three we seen the comments with this phrase. If you're buying a book, because we said it's your pre-orders, you only get the autograph, you get the autograph for the first three who say it. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't pre-order. So okay. you could still get that little bonus. Okay. So I think that's a good deal. And a shout out and in after, my next video. And yeah, and after the, after the first three is shout outs. And mm -hmm. the first three get shout outs too, but you get mm -hmm. a little bonus if you're the first three. And you're buying a book. No, you keep have to in mind that I already recorded the video with the empanada, so you're not going to get a shout out in that one. Yeah. You're going to get it in the video that comes after. Now what do they say?
It can't be. Uh, well, uh, it just needs the first three. So, um, mm -hmm. orange, cherry, plum, plum. Orange, cherry, corn, plum, plum. Oh, corn, plum. I thought it was um, plum, plum. You said um, plum, plum. Yeah. That's a lot. Now, what's song. Orange, cherry, cherry corn, corn plum, 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 plum. That's what you got to say. That's what you got to say. The first three people say that, it's going to get a shout out, and they're going to get, get the, the autograph, autograph or one after in that. the book if they buy the book. Yeah, you buy you the book? Yes. You don't get a free book. You've got to buy the book. <laughs> you, then you get the autograph. I bought the little book I came to win on. <laughs> I know. They're good. We're not joking. They're a huge chunk is missing already from all the pre-orders, so you gotta move now. Mm -hmm. You gotta move now, or and they say take five weeks. I ordered on eleven. Mm -hmm. Today is the twenty-eight. So how many weeks is that? Two. 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 Mm -hmm. Got some more time. It's mm -hmm. gonna come before the five weeks for sure, but you know. They supposed to ship it last Monday because I paid them then. Where are they coming from? Jersey. Jersey. Jersey? Like mm -hmm. a week, right? Mm-hmm. Huh. Monday? Tomorrow? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not seven days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, that's what's happening. People who made it to the end, congrats. If you're going to buy a book, I would jump in on that deal so you can get the sweet, sweet autograph. First three. After that, shout outs in the next video. Not the one with the... Um, and I put in for a grant for my small business. It's for like a $2,000 grant. Mm -hmm. If I get any part of it, because I don't have to give you the whole thing. Yeah. Even if I get 1K, I'm going to buy a computer. Yeah, hers is a, just a giant fireball. Mm. <laughs> that computer gets so hot, it starts to holler when I'm doing the voiceovers. It's hot to touch. Yeah. I, I literally have to go get ice, ice pot from the fridge. <laughs> I could cook your flesh, man. But it's eight years old. True. I'm going to buy a MacBook with it. Air? Air. Yeah, the there's, skinny one. There's, yeah, the little slim and thin one, that one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna buy one of those. They're on sale. It's not so. gonna be a big one, a little 13 inch one. I can't yeah. afford nothing big. It's like $900 on sale right now. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, I get yeah. some donations in too, I wanna buy the um, Ancestry DNA kit for Jada and for Joe. And I'm gonna start building their tree right now on that, that old laptop. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna build Jada's tree on daddy's side, on my side. Uh, Will you laugh at my laptop? That old fossil. That laptop was 15 years old. <laughs> it still works. You're talking about the Windows one, right? The HP, uh-huh. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. that thing, ooh, if you saw that, you guys would be embarrassed for us. <laughs> no, the laptop not look ugly. It doesn't, <laughs> but it's so old. You can't unplug it from the wall? No, the battery blew up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now shall we come into the end, baby? Oh, okay. We gotta wrap it up. What's our, what do you got, 29? Mm -hmm. oh. 29 or okay. 30. We gotta go. Okay. <clears throat> So That's that. it. No, 29, 30. Wrap it up. Oh, okay. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, tell everybody, get your first, first three people move if you want that book because the books are going to go quick. We only have a little bit. Get the books. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're counting down the, the camera. It stops at 29 minutes and something seconds. We're at 29, 41. 42, 43, 43 44, 45, 46, 46. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, I was going to say it like that too, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow, like, and share the page. If you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the page. And if you want to see me on a different platform, come and join the membership at Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Bear Pantry Show.